In this video, we're going to show how to set up a new product through the control panel. Once you've logged into your admin section, select the product admin link from the left-hand menu. Now choose new product. First of all, enter a unique reference ID and then the product name. If you're using the stock management feature, enter the number of items you have in stock. You can also use stock by options. Uncheck the display products field here if you don't want the product shown on the product pages. We need to add the product you're making to a category that's already been set up. Enter a retail price and a wholesale price if we're using the client login feature. The product weight is used for weight based shipping, UPS, FedEx, USPS, Canada Post. You can have up to five small images on the product page, five on the detail page, and five linked from that detail page. Enter the path here or click on the three dots to upload from your hard drive. You can associate the product to a manufacturer. This can be done later if you haven't set up any manufacturers yet. You can use the search criteria for the product filter bar. Again, that can be set up at a later date. Here we're going to select the number of product options associated with the product. Here there's one and we're choosing the color option. If you're using the digital download plugin, this is the field that you'll see and will need to fill in. We haven't set up any drop shippers yet, but again, that can be set up later. Enter the short description which will appear on the product page. You can use your own HTML, Alternatively, use the HTML editor that's downloadable from our site. Click on Maximize if you want to view the full range of buttons available in the editor. The long description goes on the detail page. And again, you can use your own HTML for formatting or use the HTML editor, which is available from our site. The product can be made state tax, country tax, shipping, or handling exempt. For multiple options, select control and click. has static pages used with the search engine friendly features, so you might want to set that up later. Recommended is when you're using the cross-selling feature, again, something you might want to set up at a later date. If the item has a SKU, enter it here. Additional search parameters are added if you want the inbuilt search to pick up extra keywords which are not included in the product name or descriptions. The product order here will be when you're setting up your custom ordering of products rather than setting them alphabetical or by price or by ID. 
You can put the item in multiple sections, selecting here at the bottom. Click Submit to finish. When listing your products, you should see the product that we've just set up. From here, you can assign discounts, modify the product, add related items, or delete the product. You can sort the products in the admin by name, by ID, by product order, by stock, etc. You can choose to show visible products, hidden products, or ones that are out of stock. You can choose to download the stock inventory to a CSV file, the product inventory, or if you're using two checkout, the product inventory to upload to two checkout. If you have any questions about setting up a product, please be sure to let us know.